everybody has glasses on, right? Kevin Bell has been teaching industrial education for the past 22 years, but it wasn't until recently that he became a certified welder at NMU, allowing him to teach a vocational education class in the same discipline. Nagani has always had a really good industrial arts program, and, and the tradition that we've had here, uh, we're trying to keep that going. Bell is a Nagani grad himself and was inspired by his predecessor's ability to immerse students in the topic by handing over the reins, something he strives to emulate in every lesson plan. Not very often will I lecture very long. It's more hands-on where they go from the classroom into the, the lab setting and, and actually do what we've talked about. This rod's called 6011 and the 60 in it stand, uh, holds 60,000 pounds per square inch. And students end up doing a lot, which keeps them hungry for more. Being able to do something with your hands and being able to work with different tools and not just having to read out of a book and take notes and it's nice to be able to do different things like that. Like working in conjunction with the school's leadership program to visit jobs in the real world. People are telling us what they do on a daily basis and what interests people have in the community and how we can continue to help people like in different ways. One venture that incorporated their welding ability was the grind rail project for this past winter's downtown rail jam. They gave us the, the metal for it and we, we designed the angles and cut the angles and welded it together and it was nice to see that our work paid off and helped other people to have a fun time. The welding program fosters those types of creative yet practical endeavors. We promote that like if a kid has something on his truck like a bumper or something that he wants to get repaired you know those are the hands-on things that will let them do that. Those little lines in there that make it look like you have like a row of dimes, Yeah, that's what you want. And in between those proactive projects, Bell implements welding coupons that hone students' ability to bring designs to life through a guided lesson plan. He'll give us a sheet of a drawing to make and we go ahead on our computer-aided drafting program and we draw it up and then we can take the part down here and make it in the metal shop and then you actually have a part in hand. So it's pretty cool to see it actually all come together. There's a few that really want to, that's their career, they want to be welders, but a lot of them will use it as a tool to get into something else. Most importantly, it gives students the chance to see the connection between the classroom and the work they've poured themselves into. When you're working in a book, you don't, you get an A on your paper or a sticker on your paper. It's nice to be able to, to use something that you've made and, and see that people appreciate what you've made. That appreciation goes far beyond the classroom. In part two of our look at vocational education, we'll explore the CAD program and how it's garnered Nagani national attention. Reporting for ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Rick Tarsitano.